What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. This is the Apple iPhone 3G and this is the Apple iPod Touch, the newest generation of both products. As great as these products are, or maybe some of you think they're not so great, but whatever you think of the products themselves, one unfortunate thing I've found about them is they're not as durable as uh, I'd like them to be. The iPhone in particular, the 3G, just not as durable as the original iPhone. Uh, they gave up the back metal, the metal back plate for a plastic case. It scratches easier, it dings more easily when you drop it, it cracks more easily, just not as, not as sturdy as the old one was. The uh, iPod Touch still has the metal back, but even still, you know, these devices, you get one, you're, most people I know want to protect them. Our friends at Otterbox just sent over a couple of protection options for us to check out for these devices. And uh, we may have to zoom back a little bit here. Here we go. On the left, we've got the Otterbox Defender Series iPhone 3G case. On the right, it's the Impact Series uh, sleeve case for the iPod Touch. Now, both of these products come uh, in versions for the other model. That is, you can get the Defender Series for the Touch. You can get the Impact Series for the iPhone 3G. And then they also make uh, cases for the original iPhone. Otter as well makes cases for all kinds of cell phones and other portable electronic gadgets. And the thing about Otter, the, uh, the reason you know, they're named Otter, and you can see their tagline, never out of its element, they're known in what they specialize in uh, are what you might call weather or element resistant cases. So these cases are a little, you know, designed to be a little more heavy duty, a little sturdier than your average uh, plastic case or, or silicon sleeve. Uh, the Defender Series in particular, it's a, a multi-part uh, system and, you know, it's got, as it says, three layers of protection. Uh, it's got added bump scratch and drop protection. So let's check them out. We'll check out first the, uh, the Impact case. Again, this is the model for the Touch second generation touch, but they have models available for, uh, you know, all kinds of other Apple and non-Apple products as well. The, uh, even the plastic bag is designed to withstand the elements. Um, it's a pretty simple sleeve. This one goes for 20 bucks, but you can see it's designed, you know, it has the webbing, the cross hatching, and uh, these other elements to it that are designed to, to uh, absorb and dissipate impact. So when you drop your phone, or your iPod Touch in this case, you know, designed to kind of absorb the shock, take it away uh, from the device and, uh, you know, dissipate it, absorb it through the material, get rid of it, and protect your device, basically. This one just has a simple cutout on the back for the, the Apple logo, which I'm sure some of you out there will love. It's got a little uh, cutout on the bottom for your docking port and your headphone, case, headphone jack, and then um, it's got a little... Uh, little uh, cutout there on the top for the proximity sensor and a button for your... Um, uh, I'm sorry, a little uh, raised edge there for the button underneath, thanks, for the power hold button. And then a little uh, indentation on the bottom there where you can get to your home button. Uh, the, the display on this one is left unprotected, which some of you might not like, but it obviously gives access to the screen itself. And you can use it with, you know, a third-party uh, screen protector, if you like. And uh, also little raised edges on the side for your rocker switches. Uh, it feels good, pretty slim in the hand. You've got extra protection, you know, kind of along the top edges of the front and then across the back. So if you do drop the device, you're going to get, you know, a little more. We'll try to, I'm going to simulate a drop here. A little more impact protection. So you could see it absorbing and deflecting the impact. No, that's how it's designed. So you get more impact protection by way of absorbing and deflecting the impact you know, with this, uh, this strap on the back there. It's not really a strap. It's the name Stripe, Strip, you know what I'm talking about. So that's the, uh, that's the Impact series. Now, if you need something a little more heavy duty, it's the Defender series. And what you get in here, it's a three-part system. There's uh, an instruction manual. There's a tutorial video on the website, all kinds of stuff. Um, so we'll show you the case here. I'm not going to do the whole install, but this is serious business. If you're an iPhone user and, um, you know, you work construction or you work near, you know, so a body of water or somewhere where you're getting wet a lot, you work in a car wash, I don't know what, but you've got a holster case here, hard plastic, little belt clip, and then you've got the actual iPhone case. You're going to add a little bulk to the device, but if, you, if you're serious about protecting it, you know, this is going to be this is going to be your business right here. 
And so basically what you've got is you've got a silicon case on the outside and then a hard shell case on the inside. So you've got your hard shell case, and you've got two, uh, two halves to it, and you just pull them apart, they snap apart, and then you slip the iPhone inside of the front half. And so the front half here, it's got a little, you know, little uh, kind of holster sleeve type thing to cradle it on the bottom. Slip it inside, and then you've got uh, full access to your touch screen on the front, so you can still, you know, tap away at things and everything. Touch screen still works. Then you put the back part on, a little cutout for your logo, cutout for your camera as well. Snap that into place. And then you've obviously got also, uh, oh, we're not quite snapped in. Oh, I think I see, that's where I stopped, I got cocky, I stopped reading the directions. Slip the bottom part in first, then we snap it in. There you go. And so now you've got your cutouts, you can cut up for your logo, but more importantly cut up for your camera. Uh, on the front, you know, you can still access everything. You can click the home button. You've got cutouts for your proximity sensors and your uh, your speaker. And then obviously you can still use the screen, the kind of click through. Now I got a little bit of dust in there. I wasn't careful. So you want to be more careful than that. Keep the dust out and everything. You don't want that trapped underneath. But you can get into everything. And then you can go back and you can put the silicon outer case around this as well. And so you've got, you know, full-on multi-layers of protection here. The hard shell case, the silicon case, I mean, this is serious business. This is all, you're all wrapped up, ready to go. The little tabs insert, you can see that right in there, the tabs insert to keep everything, you know, cinched up, uh, secure, dust-free, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this is, this is for real. And uh, again, you know, we'll go to, go to Safari, you can click around, no problem. You can hit the main button, no problem. Everything works. Works just great. We'll turn on the iPod, make sure the... Uh... Yep, you can still hear the speaker just fine. Little dock protector right there. So that snaps into place, gives you good protection on the bottom, and then you can pull it out. If you want to dock, speaker cutouts. I mean, this is serious. This is a well-designed product. Serious business. I'm gonna have to put this through its paces, give it give it a test. But uh, you know, this is just about the biggest level of protection you're gonna find out there uh, for an iPod case, especially when it still lets you use the device while it's in the case. Um, and then you've got your holster, so you can snap it into there. And you can put it on your belt clip. And uh, you know what? Put this on my belt so you can see it in action. And there you go. I'm looking stylish in a rugged sort of way, right? So there it is. It's a swivel belt clip as well. So you can swivel it around. And even better, you can also use the belt clip. I never use belt clips, so I don't even know how they work. I got it stuck there. Uh, you can use the belt clip as a little kickstand for video watching. So we'll get that into place. We'll pull this out until it snaps in. Turn it sideways. Insert. Hey now, I just dropped the iPod, but it's it's protected. It's safe. Turn it sideways, and there you go. Uh, I'll get the camera in position so you can see that it's now upright, so you can watch videos on it and stuff. Pretty cool. So there you go, it's a first look at the OtterBox. Like we said, two models. Each is available for both uh, iPhone and iPod Touch. They make a whole bunch of other models as well. It's the uh, Impact Series Silicon Case 1999, this particular version for the iPod Touch second generation. And the Defender Series, it's like a three-in-one case, really. This one for the iPhone 3G, $49.99. All from OtterBox. We'll have much more on these cases on Fortnite.com, and you can see the entire OtterBox line, obviously, our friends out of Fort Collins, Colorado. I think one of my favorite beers is made out there. Anyway, much more on OtterBox over on OtterBox.com, but we'll have it all for you on Fortnite.com. 
put these to their paces, let you know what I think. All right, till next time, I'm Noah from PhoneLog.com with my very safe, secure iPhone. There I am. You can still see me, my shiny head. See you later.